Apocalypse. Hey guys, welcome back to another restaurant video. And today I'll be showing you how to build this simple 5x5 vault piston door. And I have to say this, but this is the most spectacular 5x5 piston doors that I have ever seen and I have ever made. And because it has a spectacular opening and a closing sequence, so yeah, let's see its opening and closing sequence. So. I have been working on this door for over a month now and I wasn't able to do this triple piston extender thing which I will show you later in this video how to make that and yeah that was the hardest part and yeah the re rest of it, it was quite easy so yeah let's let's see how to build this thing first of all you want to make your door layout so I made this water door and then I made the piston layout so let's walk to how this door will work so these five pistons will handle these five blocks on, on each side so these five will handle these three and these three blocks in the middle will be handled by these three pistons and so it's for the bottom so in the middle ring these top three blocks will be handled by these three sticky pistons and these three by these three the bottom sticky pistons and one on each side will be handled by their respective double piston extenders on each side and this middle block right over here will be handled by this triple piston extender so that is it so let's move on to the restaurant part so first of all you want to place three observers facing outwards from these three pistons and then place three normal blocks behind these observers then you want to make a redstone line and so now you want to make the double piston extender so it's quite repetitive and similar in, in the whole door so I will just time lapse between the things and so uh, first of all you want to make the, this a double piston extender place a repeater with four ticks of delay observer facing downwards with a block on top of it and same is for all now you want to create this uh, zigzag shape and get your restroom line and then place your repeater right over here and then just uh, transfer this uh, redstone signal on on top so yeah let's now do the same for the other side after that you want to make this horizontal double piston extender for that you want to place a block right behind these two pistons then place a, a, a repeater with four ticks of delay with a fence gate or you can use a, a hopper or a trap door also and then place an observer observing that uh, trap door place a block behind that uh, observer and that is the double piston extender and now you all you have to do is just join this with the rest of the uh, redstone line and do that same for the other side so now you want to place a top of slab on this block by replacing that block with a slab then place a redstone on top of it then place observer facing that redstone line then carry this redstone signal on to these three pistons and then you want to place of three observers facing upwards like so with three blocks on top of these uh, this row of pistons then place uh, three repeaters with full delay then you can connect this piston extender to this main redstone line like so and then final thing you want to do is come two blocks down remove this middle block place a redstone on top of it and just place two normal blocks on the either side of it and that is it so now let's test this thing so yeah you can see this thing works exactly fine so let's work on this final middle block the triple piston extender so let's start with this triple piston extender so place three pistons apart, three blocks apart from the 
middle block then place another two sticky pistons beneath these three sticky pistons then place observer facing downwards like so then make a simple platform of of six blocks like so then place two observers facing now place another observer right over here and then place two repeaters this one with two ticks of delay and this one with four ticks of delay then place a block right over there then place a redstone dust then place dropper two blocks above this redstone dust then place the observer observing that dropper then place four glass blocks like so to make a two pulse clock after that you want to place a repeater with no delay uh, directly into this dropper then place another repeater right over there with four ticks of delay another repeater with four ticks of delay and then another repeater with just three ticks of delay and that is it now all you have to do is just connect this with the rest with the rest of the with the rest of the redstone run like so and it is done the whole redstone door is complete so let's test this thing as you can see the door works just fine and that was it for today guys hope you like this video and share this video and subscribe to the channel guys for more of these awesome doors so that was it for today thanks for now bye